What's up, everyone? Welcome back. This is Scott at Stooks Baseball Cards and Curiosities. Today I'm going to review 2023. I'm going to show you the items that are not my top 15 items from 2023. These are the ones that 14 items that didn't make the cut. Or maybe they did make the cut. And that's why I'm showing them and not a top 50 or a top 20 or etc. Just a few things I picked up over the year at the National, Dallas card shows, antique shows, flea markets from other content creators. It's just a great year. And I appreciate everybody that I've met on the ride. Now I hope you enjoy looking at a few items I picked up along the way. Thank you. We'll start off with the 1954-55 Minneapolis Lakers program versus Rochester Royals. Um, the Rochester Royals moved to Cincinnati eventually and became the Cincinnati Royals. Moved to Omaha, Kansas City, became the Kansas City Omaha Kings, who later moved to Sacramento and present day Sacramento Kings. We have uh, Jumpin' Jim Pollard on the cover, Kangaroo Kid. Basketball Hall of Famer. Next up, we have 53-54 Minneapolis Lakers generic program. There's no opponent listed inside. But here's an action shot of Jumpin' Jim Pollard in action. Minneapolis either the auditorium or the armory. It's where they played their home games. And here we have another 53-54 Minneapolis Lakers program. Again against the Rochester Royals. This time we have Slater Martin, Basketball Hall of Famer on the cover. That doesn't look like where they played. That looks more like a practice gym. They practiced in a lot of high schools around the Twin Cities. And yes, the finale of the Laker programs. The fourth and final one with Big George on the cover against the Fort Wayne Pistons. Yes, it's the Fort Wayne Pistons that became the Detroit Pistons. This is 1951, and maybe someday I'll do a separate video on some of the Laker programs, but for now they're part of my Fun 14 for 2023. The fifth item on the agenda Yes, it's 1892 scorecard, Amherst versus Harvard, official program. And here's the inside, the guts to the program. That's the Harvard team. And there's the Amherst team. And here we have my 1963 panel cut from the back of a post cereal box. I bought it because it has Jim Cott, Minnesota Twins Hall of Famer, Elroy Face, he's a decent pitcher for the Pirates. Next up, we have a 1937. Will's Cigarettes 
our King and Queen tobacco set. Complete set. Here's Queen Elizabeth and her sister, the royal princesses, the Queen Mother, and King George. It's a 50 card set. I think it's pretty cool. A day at the YMCA for the King. Here's a fun Walter Payton card, 1976-77. If you wrote, wrote to the Chicago Bears, they would send you some of these team issue cards. The, the final edition of the team issue card didn't have the facsimile autograph on it like this one. And I'll show you the difference in a second here. In the back of the Walter Payton card has a little message to the fans. Here's another one of my favorite photos from the year. Best wishes, Elston Howard. That's a facsimile autograph, not real ink. Shout out to Don's Field of Dreams, who likes players at Neil. And the Austin Howard photo is from Pan Am Photo, Bronx, New York. Some of you may remember these two Johnny Bench cards from the National. They got a blank back and a blank front. And if you flip them over, you can see what I mean. Nineteen sixty two Minnesota Twins Pocket Schedule WCCO Radio. I think it's a pretty cool schedule and it's in very nice condition. And the back has Twin City Federal advertising on it also. And here's a autograph that I really thought was cool this year that I picked up. Clyde Barnhart, Pittsburgh Pirates, National League Champs, 1927. I believe he also played on the 1925 World Series champion Pirates, too, with the Wayner Brothers. And this three-and-a-half-inch Roger Maris pinback button, gift from Iconic Al at the National. Just an awesome-looking pen. pen. Roger waiting for the pitch. And that might be the same photo that's on the Manny's Baseball Land photo. I'll have to take a look. And my final item, number 14, is a old London coin of Roger Maris. Another gift from a community member at the National from Matt and Tyrus. The card story. Big time Hank Aaron and Warren Spawn collectors. Just a generous, generous community out there. Matt and Al and everybody else. 